A motor encoder provides information on how far a motor's axle has turned. In this video, we'll show how to use encoders to control a robot's speed, distance, and turning precision. Here we see a program that causes a robot to move forward by providing 50% power to a pair of motors. The actual speed the motors achieve at 50% power depends on how much friction the robot imposes on the motors, how heavy the robot is, and whether it's traveling on an incline. If one of the drive wheels has more friction than the other, its speed may be slower and the robot may not move in a straight line. We'll make changes that will cause both wheels to move forward at a specific speed, which will help ensure the robot moves in a straight line. Whether you're using the motor controller built into the REV expansion hub or the separate Modern Robotics core motor controller, there are several encoder modes available. Two of the modes cause the motor controller to monitor a motor encoder that is mounted on a motor's axle or built into the motor. We'll use the mode called Run Using Encoder. In this mode, the power values become percentages of the maximum speed of the motors rather than actual power levels. The speed is calculated for us from the percentage we specify based on the motor brand and the model that we specify in the configuration file. The motor controller uses the pulses from the encoders to monitor the speed of the motors and adjust the power when necessary to maintain the requested speed. Previously, 50% power brought the motors up to about 80% of their maximum speed, so we'll request 80% of maximum speed for both motors. The robot will move forward at about the same speed as before but both motors will turn at exactly the same speed and the robot should consistently proceed in a straight line. Another mode provided by the motor controller is run to position. When we use this mode, we can specify the target position as an encoder tick count. The motor will rotate until the target count is reached. The modern robotics motor encoders produce 1,440 ticks Per revolution. Andy Mark never has 40 motors, which have built in encoders, produce 1,120 ticks per revolution instead of 1440. Rev hex motors, which also have built in encoders, produce 2,240 ticks per revolution, exactly twice the rate of the Andy Mark motors. We change the mode to run to position to tell the robot's wheels to make two full revolutions, we'll set the target value to 2 times 1440 or 2880. you want to use 2 times 1120 if you're using Andy Mark motors. For rev motors, use 2 times 2240. To ensure that the encoder values start from zero, we'll reset them by selecting a mode called Stop and Reset Encoder. We'll place this block above the other set run mode block so the reset occurs before we set the target positions. If we want the robot to execute a sequence of steps using motor encoders, the program needs to wait until the target motor positions have been reached before moving to the next step. We can use a loop to monitor the busy values of each motor. This value will be true until the motor encoder has reached the target position, and then it will become false. We'll use a repeat until block that loops until both motors become not busy. To do this, we'll use an AND where the left side checks the busy value of motor 1 and the right side checks the busy value of motor 2. The motor controller will keep the motors on while we're looping so that we don't need to put anything in the do part of the repeat block. After both motors have turned two full revolutions, the repeat until block will stop looping. Then we'll make the robot turn. Change the direction of motor 1 and set its target position to 1440. Then increase the target position of motor 2 by 1440 to 4320. Remember that the current position of both motors is 2880, so this will cause one of the motors to reverse for one revolution and the other to rotate forward for one re revolution, causing the robot to turn in place. Using motor encoders gives us the ability to more precisely control the speed and distance that our robot moves 
as well as to execute more precise terms.